Hi, my name is Noah Olatu and welcome to 5 Minutes of Design and Code. You have visited a website and maybe went scrolling, maybe you've scrolled for a while and a banner just pop up. That's what we'll be looking at. And for us to do that, we'll be using JavaScript set timeout. Now the JavaScript set timeout method allows you kind of like specify a number of uh, minutes or number of seconds before a pop-up shows or before a particular program run on our web page. Okay, so what we'll be looking at first is we'll be taking a good look at the set timeout um, JavaScript method. It allows us to kind of like tell the the browser when to display a particular statement or to display to the user what we want them to see at a particular time. So that's what we'll be doing. But the mini app that we'll be building is an app that will be setting a confirmation from the user. So say, for instance, uh, people visit your website and you want to ask them a particular question at a particular time or you even want to help them to maybe direct them to a page in case maybe they need help and all of that. So you need to kind of like maybe set a timer on when the banner should you know, pop up or when the uh, model should pop up. So those are the kind of things we'll be looking at. But what we'll be doing is we want to um, suggest to the user to search on, to do a Google search at some point in, on our site. So that's what we'll be looking at. So the first thing I want to do is to declare my function. Now, function is a usable blocks of code that we can you know, write and we can always call the function again and again. So let's declare our first function. And the function we'll be using is an arrow function. And to declare an arrow function, we can say, let's um, search. Then we have our equals to, then our parameter, we're leaving the parameter blank. So this is a function block to seek the, the user's content on whether to direct them to a Google page or not. So the first thing I want to do is to say, I need to declare another variable. So I can say let, um, I can give it a variable answer. Um, sorry, answer. Then we can say equals to, then we call on the confirm. Call on the confirm method. Then I will just print a message and say, would you like to, would you like to, to perform a Google search? Um, that, this is a question. So I want to kind of like get if they would like to perform a Google search. If user says, if user answer, if user answer, then we want to open um, window, want to open window dot period location. Then we want to direct it to the Google URL. So all we just need to do is to declare any URL you want them to go HTTPS. We've written a conditional statement to say, if the user answered yes, take them to a new location, which is google.com to perform their search. So if you save it, pretty much nothing still happen because we are here to trigger a function. So what I want to do now is to trigger the function, but this is where the set timeout come into play. So you can say set time, set timeout, then you put your 
to bracket, you call on the search function, then you give it the time that you want. So the time is a millisecond. If I say 1000, that's one second. Um, if I say 10,000, that's 10 seconds. So let's try out 10 seconds. If I save, just copy this link and just paste the link somewhere here. So when you count up to 10 seconds, our banner should pop up. And if you say, yeah, so the moment you say, okay, it should load the Google search. So that's basically what uh, the set timeout allows to do. You can perform so many things. If you like this video, subscribe to our channels.